This is browser OS, which is a browser that's entirely controlled by AI. So this is also known as an agentic browser where the AI will perform tasks on your browser for you. So let's give it a try. So when you first set up and install browser OS, you'll notice that it looks a lot like Chrome because it is a Chromium based browser, just like Chrome. And when you first run it, you will get to the browser OS first run page and it's an open source browser. So that means it has a repository on GitHub where you can install the installer from there. I'll leave the link down in the description below and It'll give you a quick start, so you can just import data from Chrome or Edge or whatever browser you're currently, currently using. Um, and you can also choose your API provider like Gemini, um, Claude, maybe ChatGPT, OpenAI. Uh, and it, its default one is the default browser OS Agentic AI. And some of the key features include the agent so yeah the agent is the main reason you'll download this browser so you can say list all the tabs i have open you can close all the duplicate tabs group it by topic um save the current browsing session which is also pretty cool and it can also search your browser history which is a bit scary but it's also pretty cool um and you can also have a browser os navigator which can pr um, perform tasks for you so you can say uh, go to Google and search for a pizza restaurant nearby, or you can even say go to Twitter and post maybe hello world or something. So yeah, why don't we just try together? So firstly, um, you want to open a new tab page and then click agent over here. It's on the top right hand corner. And then you can just start typing something to an agent. So say something like, um, tweet a message on x saying thanks for a 129 subs subs guys and yes i really appreciate you for subscribing so just click that little button down there so first it'll analyze how complex the task is and then it'll follow step by step so um, navigate to x.com log into x if not already logged in but i'm already logged in so you want to find the tweet composition area so check the document page and find this little box over here and it clicked it and then now it's gonna compose the tweet as you can see task number four its status is trying to do it up ah, over there and then now it just have to find the button to post the tweet is it gonna do it for me because usually this doesn't work okay click the element post button no, it, it hasn't. I have to do it myself. But yeah, you get the main idea of how browser OS agent works. But other than this agent, there's also much more to browser OS. And yeah, I'll say completed. So let's just post it. Thanks for 129 subs, guys. Thanks for 100. Yeah, so as you can see, browser OS can make some mistakes. It duplicated my text. Now I look like I'm having mental issues um, or my typing skills are just horrible. But let's check out the other features. So just like other Chromium-based browsers, you can also add Chrome extensions, just like this one over here called Infinite Copy, which is an extension I created. And if you want to um, add it for yourself, I'll leave the link down in the description below. Um, and other than adding Chrome extensions, you can also do other stuff. So since browser OS is an AI first browser, you can also access your favorite AI, um, AI chatbots easily by this LLM chat at the side. So on the top right corner of the browser over here next to this agent row, you'll see LLM chat. So you can just click it and you can switch between ChatGPT, Claude, Grok, Gemini, and Perplexity. So you have like five choices of AI agents. Um, and it's really convenient because you know sometimes how you want to do, you want to copy and paste code from Gemini or Claude into something else. Well, now, yeah, you can easily do it from the sidebar, which is pretty cool. And also you can access an LLM hub, which I think just um, opens three AIs at the same time. I'm not too sure about the purpose for this. It's called Clash of GPTs. Uh, I, I really don't know what this is for. And that's about it for the AI features. I mean, there, there might be more. You can just go to the settings page. You also have 
browser OS AI. So you can choose what provider you want. So browser OS, OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, or Olama. Olama, what's Olama? I, I, I think Olama is it. Oh, it's Quen. I, I think it's just a lot of other AI stuff into one API key. Um, but yeah, do note that if you need, if you want to use other AIs, you need to provide your own API key. So yeah, this pretty much wraps up Browser OS, which is basically a free alternative to Perplexity's Comet, which costs $200. I don't know if you're willing to pay that much. But other than those LLM Chat, LLM Hub, and Agent, um, it's really just another one of those Chromium browsers. And I don't think the LLM Hub one is that useful, because, but I, I can see the use for LLM Chat if you want to quickly have a quick conversation with one of your favorite AI chatbots. And Agent is um, a game, game changer, which is the primary reason why you'll download Browser OS 4. Actually, you can use the Agent on any other browser. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the entire browser. So thank you guys for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.